Video number 149, finding function values given one function value. Now, this is actually uh, pretty straightforward here because the only two examples they have for us here is are inverse, inverse trig functions. We know that secant and cosine are trig functions. In fact, the way I used to remember it was this. Obviously, tan and cotan, I think that's pretty straightforward. But how do we know which one's which? Sine cosine which one's which we have secant and we have cosecant the way I do it is this I spell cosine backwards s o c and that's really close to the spelling s e c therefore uh, the inverse of cosine is secant that's how I remember it therefore cosecant must be the inverse of sine by default that's for me I've come to find the best way to remember it alright what do we have here we, it tells us, it asks us to find secant theta, given that cosine theta is 5 eighths. Well, uh, secant theta is definitely 1 over cosine, and therefore cosine is 5 eighths, so 1 over 5 eighths equals 8 fifths. So we're all set there, that's pretty straightforward. Next one, find sine theta, given that cosecant theta is root 24 over 3. Well, sine equals 1 over cosecant, therefore, uh, we can say 1 over root 24 thirds, then we can rewrite this as a fraction 3 over root 24, um, simplify, the, uh, simplify the radical, so 3 over 2 root 6, then we're trying to get rid of this root 6 by multiplying by root 6 over root 6. If you don't understand this, head over to the simplifying radicals video, that should be under the pre-calculus class, I believe it's in chapter R. So 3 root 6 over 2 times root 6 squared, that's 3 root 6 over 12, root 6 over 4, and bam, you're all set. Questions or concerns, please send me an email. Thanks for visiting cjtmathservice.blogspot.com.